Let's calculate sample standard deviation using the TI and Spire. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home screen. We're going to add a new list and spreadsheet here. And we're going to type the data that we're given into this spreadsheet. I'm going to call it first a name. I'm just going to call it data, which is not very descriptive, but we don't have any context here. So I'm just going to call it that. Next, I'm going to type in these numbers just in the same column. So 25, 34, 24, 25, 42. What I usually do is I, I count how many there are to make sure I don't miss any. Because if you miss any, obviously, that's going to change uh, what you have here. So let's see. It looks like there are 12 numbers, and you'll see here I'm in row 12, so I've got all 12 pieces of data. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to click out of that column, put the box into a separate column, the blue box there you'll, you'll see. And then we're going to go to the menu. Okay, if you ever lost, go to the menu to find what you need. So menu statistics, and we're going to do stat calculations, and we're going to do one variable statistics here. We don't have any other variable. We just have this data. And we're going to say just one list of data. We're going to pick our list, which I called data, and we're going to hit OK. And that will give us a lot of information. So what it tells us first is this actual little bar on it is the average. So 30.75 is the average. And I'm going to scroll down here. So this SX right here, that's what we're looking for. That's the sample standard deviation. And it gives it to us right there, 11.73 about, um, which you can see right there to the nearest hundredth. If we keep scrolling down, we'll see more information. Uh, the next one down is the population standard deviation. Again, it doesn't ask us to do that here, but if it represents all of a population, then you would use that standard deviation. If we're talking about a sample, uh, like we usually are, we use this one. And then of course, there's more information underneath. If I keep scrolling down, we get the five number summary. So same steps to get those numbers as it is to get the standard deviation. You just gotta read the number that you need. Let's do a couple more. I'll just randomly make one here. So again, I'm gonna go back to the home screen and make a new document. I'm gonna call this one numbers, just to make it different. So I'm gonna go through and hopefully not mess anything up here. And if I do, I will fix it. 47, 40, 36, 50, 34, 46, 44, 10, 15. I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to do the same thing. Click over here. Go to the menu. Again, statistics, stat calculation. Oh, so it went wrong there. Let's try again. Menu, statistics, stat calc, and one variable statistics. One list. I'm going to pick my numbers now. I'm going to get the data right there. And there's the 13.82 is our sample standard deviation. Um, we can do a lot more with the calculator with this data. We can make uh, a dot plot if we wanted to. If we go to the, the home screen here, add a new data and statistics here. I can then click down here for whatever data I want, and it can make it into a nice dot plot. If I switch it, there's the other dot plot. If I want to make it into a box plot, I can go to menu, I can go to plot type, make it a box plot like that. I can even make it a histogram, plot type, histogram. So there's a lot of things built into this calculator that can do a lot of great things for uh, comparing data, including making the graphs as well as finding those sample standard deviations.